In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate the most holy trinity, one of the central, essential points of our faith. We're going to meditate on this later on during the homily. We offer this Mass for the eternal rest of Joseph Yankwich. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth, and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and the fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vaults over the face of the depths, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the seas its limits, so that the water should not transgress his command. Then I was beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day. 
playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of the earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has pour, been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. I have two questions for you. Can we know God without religion? Yes. Can we know everything about God without religion? No. We can know God through creation. By contemplating his works, we can know that there is a God, a supreme being, the creator of everything we see. And not only that, we can know that this God is one, all-powerful, good, his truth, and that he is beauty. We can know this about God. But the thing that we cannot know about God, that he is the Father who has a Son, and the and that the love of the Father and the Son is another person, the most, the, the Holy Spirit. We needed that God revealed this to us. And that is what Jesus says in the Gospel today. Notice what he says. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. There is a lot to know about God. And we need the help of the Holy Spirit to know, to comprehend, to understand what Jesus came to reveal to us. We need the help of God to know God. We can know God through our reason, yes. But we need His grace, His help to know everything about Him. And yet, it's still a mystery. How, how many times have, have you heard people saying that Muslims and Christians and Jewish people believe in the same God? Because they believe in one God. We believe in one God. Therefore, we all believe in the same God. And this is not true. This is not true. We do not believe in the same God that Muslims believe in. They do not believe that God is a father who has a son, that God sent his son to redeem us, and that his son has the same dignity that his father has. And therefore, he has the right to receive the same adoration we give to the father. And the same applied to the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we do not believe in the same God. We do have many things in common, yes. But here is an essential thing about God that has been revealed by Jesus Christ to us, and we believe that what Jesus revealed to us is the true faith, the true faith of God, the true identity of God, the most holy trinity. This is unique, and we claim to know the true God and to have the true faith, and that's why we have to preach and evangelize and to know everybody about the true God and the true faith. That is why we have murders in our, in our church. Now we have many, many reasons to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He, and that what He taught to us 
is true. And the uttermost proof of this is his resurrection. His miracles are part of this proof. But his resurrection is the uttermost proof of his authority and that he is the Son of God. This is very important to understand because it is not the same to belong to this religion or to this other religion. We claim to know the true God because Jesus Christ, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity, became man to reveal this to us. Very important to understand. This is the essence of our faith. Therefore, very important consequence about this, about this, what we, we are celebrating. We believe in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are one because they share the same nature, the divine nature. That is why they, the three of them have the same dignity. Same dignity, but three persons, three distinct persons with the same dignity. One God, because of the same nature, but three distinct persons, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, one consequence, I just mentioned one. Another consequence about this, very important as well. If we were created in the image and likeness of God, what can we learn about this we are celebrating? We are different. That is a fact. We are different. There are men and women. And there are women uh, different from each other and men different from each other. We are different, but we all have the same dignity. Just as the Blessed Trinity, they are one. Same dignity, three persons, they're different. That is why woman has the same dignity that man has. And that is why man has the same dignity that woman has. And that is why we have to respect each other and treat each other equally. Respecting the differences we, in fact, have. And this is a very important consequence about the true revelation about God, very important. And this gives light to our political systems, economics, morals, relationships. How important it is to know God, because by knowing God, we know how to treat each other, how to behave as human beings. Let us apply this to our families. We already apply this to our personal sphere. Let us apply this to our families. Unity and difference. Unity and diversity. Uh, Benedict XVI, Pope Benedict XVI, said that God is one because he is love. God is a communion of love, and that love makes possible that undivided unity we believe in. So in order to live this unity, undivided unity, in our families, we must love each other. We have to become a communion of love, a community of love. Work for each other. Take out the trash without waiting your mom tell you to take it, to take it out 7,000 times. Do it. Ask for forgiveness. Forgive. Treat your wife as she deserves to be treated, as a human being, with the same dignity you have Respect her, protect her. In fact, we today celebrate Father's Day. 
and a father has to protect. He does not mistreat. He protects. He loves. Very important. Unity, respecting the differences. Do not try to make your husband in your image and likeness. Do not pretend that your children reproduce you. Let them be what they are. Difference is something good. When we are different, we complement each other. That is good. That is beautiful. Do not pretend that your children or your husband, your wife, be made in your own image and likeness. Of course, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you're going to allow them to do whatever they want. Ah, because I'm different, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to come home at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. No, there are rules. If you want to keep unity, you have to follow the rules. If you want to keep unity, you have to love each other. You have to respect. You have to take care of. This is what we have to do. Now, let us apply this same dogma to our church. There is only one church, undivided church, founded by Christ. Only one church. Jesus did not found several churches, many churches, only one church. And there is, and what is, what is it? I think as someone has to give Richard a, a, a bottle of water. Uh, are you okay, Richard? I'm sorry. Okay, so let us apply this to, um, to our church. One faith. One creed, one doctrine. There is no unity if we do not believe in the same teachings. If you profess something different from, I, from what I profess. Um, recently, one priest in, in Argentina said that Jesus came not to give commandments, but just to give advices. Now it turns out that Jesus is a psychologist. One of the parishioners at the end of the Mass told him, um, Father, Jesus did give us commandments. During the Last Supper, he said to, to his apostles, this is my commandment. He didn't say, this is my advice. This is my commandment. One doctrine, one faith, respecting the differences that we have in our church. There are different charisms, different spiritual families with different missions, but one church. And this is a, this is a richness as well. So let us give thanks for what Jesus revealed to us. It is a blessing for us to know God and the only way to know God is by knowing Jesus Christ. And let us live this unity and this diversity just as God is one and three persons at the same time. Let us pray in silence. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Adoptive children of a loving Father, we bring our prayers to Christ, begging the Holy Spirit's aid. That all who are baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit <coughs> proclaim the good news with their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations remember always the dignity of every human being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that families be given the grace they need to reflect the Trinity's communion of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That firefighters, police, and emergency personnel know the support of the communities they protect and serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the members of this community reach out to all who feel isolated and abandoned let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eternal rest of Joseph Jankic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of history, you made us heirs to your promise. Give us a taste of the marvelous harmony of the Holy Trinity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As our gifts are prepared, we sing number 585, All My Days, Number 585. and plenty 
table with friends their love and their laughter enrich me together we sing your praise till the end of my days Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of, your, of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, and never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never never, never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously Make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered through all the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are placing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only but say only the say word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Our communion hymn is number 677, Give Me Jesus, number 677.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May receive in this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, and as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is, is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou among women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.